I'm sorry, Ken. I'm so sorry, but don't make it worse. I waited too long with Gage. With Ashley, it'll work this time. It'll work because she just died a little while ago. <laughs> Back to Sledgehammer Horror. I am Ken Sledge. Joining me this week is my beautiful wife and my final girl, Ashley. Hello. And today we're going to be talking about her first horror movie, which was Pet Cemetery. Um, I want to preface this at the beginning. This is the 1989 version of Pet Cemetery, not the remake. So remember that when we're talking about it. Um, what's the first thing when you think of this movie that pops into your head? The first thing that I think of is and probably most people do, is when little Gage is walking towards the road and you see that semi coming and you just know that he's about to get smashed on that road. And it's very sad. It, yeah, it made me sad as a kid. And it's funny to say that because we all were sad as a kid, but now we're adults. We have children of our own. And it's not, it's worse, I think, now yeah. watching that scene. The anxiety that they feel when they're running after him and the sadness we feel when we see Lewis screaming his name and they start showing pictures of him as a baby. and mm -hmm. So that, that's something that I think really affected us. We rewatched this movie a couple days ago just to kind of catch up and talk about, find things that we wanted to talk about again. So let's check that Gage scene out real quick. Don't let him go on the road, Lewis! Get him, Lewis! Get the baby! 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 now watching that it's so heartbreaking um it's hard to even watching it to edit when we watched it together recently i closed my eyes during that scene i it breaks my heart because i got semis going by here all the time and i got my three kids and it's hard to watch that scene um now that since this was your first horror movie how old were you when you watched it do you remember where you were at who you were with um i was about eight years old um because i was with my little brother and he was six we were in my grandma's camper we were camping um, and it was raining out, and I just remember rummaging through the VHS tapes, and I popped that in, and you know, scared us. And that's where it all started. Uh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, now we talked about what we both agree is probably the most iconic scene in the movie with Gage getting hit. But is there any scenes we remember that mostly because of the fear and the anxiety? Is there any scenes that just scared you? Yes. Sister Zelda, she's terrifying, she's a monster, and she scared the crap out of me. I think that's something we brought up when we watched it again. Zelda, check this out, check Zelda out. Rachel, is that you? I finally came back for you, Rachel. I'm going to twist your back like mine, so you'll never get out of bed again. <laughs> Never get out of bed again! Never get out of bed again! Never get out of bed again! <laughs> if that doesn't give you nightmares, especially at eight and six years old, you're a better person than us. Um, now you're talking about that as your scene. The scene that scared me, and I've talked about this on my personal Instagram and my personal Twitter, Victor, at the end when uh, Lewis is carrying his wife, and Victor's standing there and he's like, Lewis, don't, please. And Lewis is like, she's fresh. It just happened. It'll be different this time. And you know it's not going to be different. That's something that's always stuck with me. As a kid, when he walks through Victor, that completely terrifies me. And I don't know why, but even watching it now, it still gives me the chills to watch it. Um, we are talking about Pet Cemetery, so I would like to get your opinions on the remake. Um, we both do have differing opinions on this, so what is your opinion on the remake? I like the remake. I thought it was good. I enjoyed it when we went and seen it. Um, yeah, I liked it. I didn't. I thought there was no redeeming qualities about the remake at all. Um, another, even just a, a minute thing to a lot of people, which is huge to me. 
one of my favorite things about this movie, and this is funny, is the theme song, Pet Cemetery" by the Ramones. I think it is the best original song written for a movie. My kids love this song. We get in the car, they want to listen to it, they sing along to it. I hated even the band that did the remake of Pet Cemetery in this movie. So to me, every facet of that was absolutely terrible. Um, now, we want to talk about some more scenes, obviously. Is there any other scenes that really jump out at you? Um, another scene I can think of, because it's so vivid in my memory from just being a kid, is um, when the dog spot... Um, oh, Judd's dog when he's Judd's a kid. Judd's dog, yeah, was behind the laundry on the line, and he's just sitting there growling. And you know he's a monster, mm -hmm. and it just it scared me. Well, at this time in your life, I know this because we're married, obviously, but you had just lost a dog. Yeah. And you lost a dog by getting hit by a car, right? Absolutely, it ran out in front. So maybe at your young age, you kind of put those things together. So and that's another scene that's not really talked about in this movie that should be because it's a scary scene. Right. Let's check that out. You still see the Bob Wyatt box on it. John, come and get your dog! You stink to the ground, you buried him in! John! Well, that came back all right. It was never quite the same dog that I knew. When he died peacefully the night that second time, I buried him up there in the Pet Cemetery, where, as you saw, his bones still lie. Not a good boy, Spot. While we're on this subject, we talked about Victor, we talked about Spot. Another thing that we both want to talk about, which I think is another very iconic moment in this movie, is when Gage kills Judd. Before we talk about that, do I do want to give a big shout out to the makeup directors in this movie, which were Dave and Lance Anderson. Um, from Victor to this Judd scene to Zelda, I love the makeup in this movie. Even though I don't like it as much now as I did as a kid, I think the makeup in this movie is phenomenal. Uh, what do you want to add about that scene with Judd and Gage? Um, that was just scary. The little creepy little boy jumping out from under the bed and he slashed his face and then ate out his throat. It was creepy. You don't want to go down that, Rod. Yeah, I agree. Um, even watching it now, one thing that I appreciate is they use practical effects when Gage is eating out the neck. And it's not CGI, so it doesn't look fake. It doesn't look too computerish. It's all natural effects. And it looks really, really good. Let's check that out real quick. Where did you go? Oh, 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 oh. Um, when I watched that scene, all I think it's no fair, no fair, no fair. Um, now we talked about what scared us, what stuck with us. The scene that we both talked about when we were rewatching the movie that absolutely disgusted us, that nobody really talks about is Winston Churchill, the cat, they call him Church for short. He gets hit and he's the first pet that we see get buried in the pet cemetery and come back. Well, when Lewis is home alone, he takes a bath and... And he throws a rat into the bathtub and that is disgusting and it gives me nightmares because <laughs> <laughs> i can't imagine a rat getting thrown into the bathtub while i was taking a bath check out lewis's reaction here <laughs> if that happened to me i would literally get out of the bath and set myself on fire um, so in conclusion to this, we're going to start rating movies on a skull count, zero to five skulls. Um, after a rewatch now, what would you rate this movie? Um, as an adult rewatching it, I would probably rate it a three. Um, I still like it, um, and I think it'll always have a special place in my heart. And again, remember, this is our first horror movie, not our favorite horror movie. So I'm going to actually give this one two and a half skulls. Uh, there's a lot of redeeming qualities to it, like the Zelda scene. Victor, everything with Victor I think is absolutely powerful in this movie and that's actually why I rank the remake lower because there's not enough Victor in the remake and I feel like he 
for me is a titular character from my childhood. He's something that scared me and has always stuck with me. When I think of Pet Cemetery, I think of Victor. So I'm actually going to give it two and a half skulls, a little bit lower. I do want to say thank you guys so much for watching. This has been episode number two of my first horror movie. I am Ken Sledge. This is my wife, Ashley. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, hit that subscribe button for some more content. Oh,